Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. Zelensky calls on West for planes and tanks. Biden says, Butcher. Putin cannot remain in power. Live. Summary of headline article. 923 Normality is another world for Shakhtar Donetsk. When Russia invaded Ukraine, football was stopped and the lives of the players, coaches, staff and fans were turned upside down in an instant. There was no time to waste with lives at stake as the autumn's Champions League games against Real. Madrid and Internazionale quickly became a distant memory. We are dreaming when everything will be returned to normal. We dream of flying to play Champions League games, Palkin says. When you have this kind of situation where war has arrived in our homes, you start to think about the essential stuff. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. Battlefield in North, largely static, says Ministry of Defense is local counterattacks hamper. Russian forces. Summary of headline article. The battlefield in northern Ukraine remains largely static, but Russian troops are concentrating efforts on the encirclement of Ukrainian forces in the east. The Ministry of Defense has said in its latest intelligence update. The mod said local counterattacks have hampered Russian attempts to reorganize its forces. It said Russian forces appear to be concentrating their effort to attempt the encirclement of Ukrainian forces directly facing the separatist regions in the east of the country. Advancing from the direction of Kharkiv in the north and Mariupol in the south. The city has been cut off by Russian forces. Speaking to the Sunday Telegraph. Liz Truss said, snapback sanctions, would be retained if the Russian president did attack again. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Taylor Hawkins had 10 different substances in his system. Officials say. Summary of headline article. FU Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins had 10 different substances in his system at the time of his death. Colombian officials said. I'll never forget Laguna Beach days when I was a trash man playing in a punk rock band and you were playing with Alanis. Rolling Stones singer Sir Mick Jagger also paid tribute. Writing. So incredibly sad to hear of the passing of Taylor Hawkins. He added. I woke up this morning to hear the awful news of Taylor Hawkins' death. Rest in peace my friend. Guitarist of rock band Green Day. Billy Joe Armstrong. Added that he was shocked and devastated. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine war. Explosions heard as missiles hit the western city of Lviv. Summary of headline article. In the last month of war. Lviv has become a city of sanctuary for Ukrainians fleeing fighting. Image. Lviv has offered a safe haven to tens of thousands of Ukrainians fleeing untold horrors in other parts of the country very soon after. Three loud explosions were heard. Image. It is understood an oil depot was hit in the first attack but the first missiles to hit were a first attack on the populated civilian area of Lviv. A city that has offered a safe haven to tens of thousands of Ukrainians fleeing untold horrors in other parts of the country. As Joe Biden slammed Russia and Vladimir Putin. Russian forces attacked a city just 40 miles from the Polish border. From iNews under the main headline of government asks all schools to run 32.5 hour week from 2023. With no extra funding. Summary of headline article. Schools in England will be asked to offer at least a 32.5 hour week from September 2023. The Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi has announced. On Monday. 
the Department for Education will publish a new school's white paper setting out its plans for schools. The white paper will include a call for all schools to have a 32.5-hour school week, equivalent to 6.5 hours a day Monday to Friday, or 8.45 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. A DFE spokesperson said most schools were already able to run a 32.5-hour week with their current funding and that the department would provide guidance to help schools do it where they aren't already. Every plan and policy I will set out in next week's school's white paper works towards this goal. From Evening Standard under the main headline of William says Future of Monarchy in Caribbean, for people to decide. Summary of headline article. Teehee Duke of Cambridge has acknowledged the monarchy's days in Belize. Jamaica and the Bahamas may be numbered as he stated the future, is for the people to decide upon. William and Kate visited the three nations during their Caribbean tour. But by their next royal trip the Queen may have been replaced as head of state. The Duke said in his statement. I know that this tour has brought into even sharper focus questions about the past and the future. In Belize. Jamaica and the Bahamas. That future is for the people to decide upon. But it is a matter that the people of Belize must decide on. From I News under the main headline of rallies held at UK ports is calls grow for P&O ferries boss. To quit. Summary of headline article. Hundreds of people marched in protest at ports on Saturday in the fight for justice after almost. 800 seafarers were sacked without notice earlier this month. Demonstrations took place in Liverpool, Dover and Hull. As calls continued for a P&O ferries boss to quit. The vessel will remain under detention until all these issues are resolved by P&O ferries. A P&O ferries spokesman said. European Causeway has undergone an inspection by the MCA in Larne during which it was deemed not sufficiently ready for entry into operation. Meanwhile, Irish trade union workers gathered at Dublin port outside the P&O terminal to send support from across the Irish Sea to P&O staff. From Metro under the main headline of only letting Ukrainian asylum seekers work exposes racism in UK's system. Summary of headline article. As Britain told people fleeing Ukraine they could live and work in the UK for three years. Asylum seekers from other war-torn countries were left thinking. What about us? Single quote dot. Among the Lord's suggestions were to allow asylum seekers to work after just six months. And to ditch plans to criminalize people who arrive without permits seeking refuge. Plans to detain asylum seekers at offshore sites if they arrive illegally are also set to go ahead. Although the Home Office is yet to find a country to offer its facilities for this. With the UK facing a huge shortage of workers. Including in many areas where asylum seekers have skills. She says it is just common sense to lift the ban on him working. Ms. Skeets also suggests that allowing asylum seekers to work would help a lot with their integration into British society if they are given permission to stay. From Mail Online under the main headline of forecasters warn of cold snap next week with chance of snow in north. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Britons are set for another day of glorious sunshine after temperatures hit 20 C on. Saturday in parts of the UK, but forecasters have warned of a cold snap next week. A cold front will strike, bringing a mixture of rain, sleet and snow towards the southwest, with flurries of snow also predicted. By Tuesday, unsettled and cooler weather is set to hit the UK, with patchy low cloud drawn in off the North Sea, hitting coastal areas. 
certainly next week is going to be colder but it's not looking like it's going to be drastically drastically colder. Most places will probably see some rain which some of us haven't really seen a lot of this week. From The Guardian under the main headline of UN condemns attacks by Yemen rebels and Saudi-led coalition. Summary of headline article. UN Chief Antonio Guterres on Saturday condemned an exchange of attacks between Yemen's Houthi rebels and the Saudi-led coalition, calling for restraint on all sides in the seven-year conflict. The Secretary General strongly condemns the recent escalation of the conflict in Yemen. UN spokesperson Stéphane Dujaric said in a statement Saturday. In response, the Saudi led coalition launched airstrikes on the capital Sana'a and the port city of Hodeida, a key entry point for humanitarian aid, early on Saturday. Earlier on Saturday, Houthi rebels announced a three-day truce with the Saudi-led coalition and dangled the prospect of a permanent ceasefire. The statement also condemned the coalition strikes, which destroyed explosive-laden boats in Yemen, for damaging a UN staff residential compound in Sana'a. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.